All right, guys, welcome back to the page. I figured today I would do a quick little review tutorial on my Otto Wild Grill. This is my first time cooking myself on the Otto Wild Grill. I've done some tailgates with the Philadelphia Eagles with Otto Wild and Pat LaFrida that were amazing. So I know how they work. Um, I'm using a Blackhawk Farms ribeye steak, Wagyu ribeye, and uh, let's get to it. So it is recommended that you fill this water pan here just to allow some moisture and uh, prevent any burning. So for my inaugural cook, I'm using a Blackhawk Farms American Wagyu ribeye. And because it's such an incredible cut of meat, I am using only salt. I really want to test this thing out. And most of all, as Otto's catchphrase goes, prepare my meat the way it deserves. We are going super basic here, super simple. Um, great quality steak, needs nothing more than a little salt. So we're going kosher salt on this uh, about 16 ounce American Wagyu Black Hawk Farms ribeye. Can't wait. So the Auto Wild has two push button starters for the burners. Um, unlike the Auto Light, which only has one, these can be controlled separately. So for this cook, I'm just cooking one ribeye steak here. So I only started the one side. There's really no reason to run that much propane and burn that much off. Now what's beautiful about this is being able to control the height of the grate. This is a cast iron grate. They also offer a stainless steel one. Depending on how you want the steak cooked, you are given the ability to control how close or how far from the burner the grate is. Now you hear that sizzle. I went ahead and let the cast iron grate heat up for about 20 minutes before I threw this on. Now that handle that adjusts the height also acts as your lever to insert or pull out the grate. Now, like I mentioned early in this video, this is my first time cooking on this myself. I've seen it done plenty. So my game plan is to put it right up on the burner, almost to the highest setting and let it really develop that beautiful crust. I did that for about a minute. After that first minute, I didn't flip the steak, but I turned it. So the front end was in the back, back end was in the front, just to even it out a little bit. Now the result was perfect for what I wanted. I mean, that crust was absolutely insane. Now knowing the temperature I was aiming for, about 125, 130, I lowered the grate and kept it in there for another 20 seconds. By that point, after sitting and staring at this crust for a minute, I went ahead and flipped it. And we did the same thing. We took that lever, which you also use to slide and lift the grate with, use that as the handle, and I went ahead and lifted that grate all the way up towards the burner and got that beautiful crust again. The fear of messing up will only exist if you walk away, and trust me, you're not gonna wanna walk away from this. This goes fast. Do not walk away, but this is great being able to control the height. So if you do stay up on it, it's hard to burn it if you're really watching. Um, just make sure you're watching. At this point here, I was temping at about 125, so I was pretty happy with that. Gave it one more shot for the camera, <laughs> and we went ahead and pulled that off. Now, I gave it a rest for 10 minutes before I was ready to slice this baby up. I will tell you, a meat thermometer is a must for cooking on the auto. Tell me you've heard a crust that sounds like that, even when you slice it. This came out a perfect 135. That is right on the cusp of medium rare and man, just pink edge to edge. It was incredible. I've cooked on cast iron, caveman style, straight over the fire on grill grates. I've done everything. And this is by far one of my favorite and the tastiest cuts of steak that I've ever had. And we all know that a beautiful crust means flavor. All right, I'm doing this kind of off the cuff, um, no fancy, you know, gimbals and stuff like that, but there is a learning curve on knowing how far from the flame, how close to the flame, the timing of it. Again, this was my first time actually physically operating the Otto Wild Grill. And uh, man, I, I, I was super careful. I wanted a medium rare medium. I ended up getting it to about 130 internal. 
And guys, this is, um, that's about, let me get that to focus. That's about as good as it gets, man. I will tell you, you are not replicating that crust on anything else. That is restaurant style crust on that, on that steak. Can't beat it. Couple of the thicker pieces, a little closer to medium rare, which is what I prefer, actually. Overall, I cannot wait to continue to cook on this thing. It's gonna level up everything. Uh, this is one of the most well-prepared steaks that, that I've done in a while. Easy. Prepare your meat the way it deserves. No truer words have been said. Guys, hit that subscribe, smash the like button, plenty more to come.